Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali. You are watching CJOB video. Today we will make this simple effect and you can see we have lots of parameters to make it like cool. Okay, we can make this like this. We can pan it outward and this is all done using a simple texture that I created in Photoshop. So let's start this tutorial. So inside the Photoshop, I'll take a new canvas and I'll take 1K and I'll just start. hide these lines. And what you have to do, take this or make the random shape or you can make the shape random later, you can distort. So you can just take this, okay? After taking it, I'll make a new layer and I'll take a brush, white color, decrease these things, flow and opacity and like something. They have to make like this. And I think I'll need to make a little more black here. I think this much is enough. Control D. Later on, you can distort it by using these things from the distort. You can use wave, drill, anything you want. Let's say I'll take this wave and I'll increase size maybe this much okay so you will have this kind of thing i think this is too much i'll go again yeah i think this one is nice okay then if you have latest photoshop you can go here and turn on the pattern preview okay and then you can just move it like this and i'll just randomly put it in inside this canvas One thing, thing I forgot to do, uh, you have to make the layer a screen. So let's turn this off and actually let me delete. And let's make this uh, screen. So when you duplicate it, it will work like this. So black is transparent now. Okay, now this is screen. And now I'll do that again. So. Now I can just That's it. Now I'll merge these and turn this off. So we have this text and this is tile level. So if I offset it from here, see this is tile level. You can use it directly if you want, or you can make some tweaks. Like uh, if I control J to duplicate it and I can blur a little bit this much, or maybe this much, and then I'll make this again screen and decrease this. To add a little bit values, merge these, then I can go and go to minimum and change these settings. So if I just turn OK, it's freezing actually because I put the very high value. So let's do it again, but not take that much high value. Or maybe yeah, little bit you can use. So basically, this is stylable texture. Let me offset again. And yeah. Okay, so I'll just save it on the desktop. And I'll call this um, pattern. And 
one more thing let me show you if i use this dot and use polar coordinate it looks cool so we can do that in unreal engine so let's do it so i'll import that from the desktop and pattern and right click make a material open this and then let me make this material unlit and preview it on the planar. Let's make some space here. Okay. And if I connect this here, the MSC, this is how it will look. Let it preview and I'll take the vector to radial. Uh, it's taking time to preview. Uh, let me save. Now it's preview and then you can use this thing here radial coordinates and and for this same you can just use mip level and for the tiling i'll multiply it and make the two vector actually and one and one for now connect this here and now you can increase the tiling on this axis if you want like three so it looks cool but i'll use two and you can also add pan panel this direction actually yeah cool and then you can take a radial and multiply this with the radial and also a power control and it looks already very cool so i'll make some parameter quickly first i'll take the time and multiply with a parameter called pan one by default then i'll take the append vector and i'll make two parameters tile x and tile y connect these here second thing i have this power let's make this uh, translucent and this is an opacity and i'll make the parameter for opacity and i'll also make a parameter for power default value 2 and default value for opacity 1 and let's use this thing same here or you can use uh, for the color so basically this is how it was previewing and if i take three color it will give me three color depends on black gray and white like this and to tweak it we will also add one more power here so i'll call it power 2 default value let's say one and for these three color let's take three color so convert to parameter this is called one and i'll duplicate this color 2 and let's paste this again color 3 and i'll just connect these 1 2 3 and this will go here and this power will here cool very easy to create and let's save it and now after saving i'll just make the right click and make instance it looks black because all colors are black but it looks cool in the black also it looks really cool so if i turn on the real time so if i increase the opacity it's making it a little darker and i think this is still looking cool but i'll make some colors so let's say same colors like rgb i'll take so we can now decide which color we want to change okay so now this blue i want this to be a hot core so i'll use it like this and then for the green i want like oranges and red to be a little more darker okay then we have these parameters so this is uh we had one more parameter power 2 that is missing here yeah so basically i didn't create the parameter for it so let's call it power 2 and default value 2 and i'll save it 
now we have this parameter to control like this looks cool and then we can increase the speed if you want you can make it like this and i think one is fine and then you can increase the tiling also like this is one i like the two and you can also decrease this it looks really cool like at zero it's like a raise okay so this is it i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye